Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before I begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your finance advisor. I do not provide finance advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, this is Project 21. Uh, they did have an audit done on this project. Uh, it passed with some issues. High severity issue, the owner can blacklist addresses making it impossible to sell. And they also have a medium severity issue, the owner can exclude addresses from fees and disable trading limitations. So they also uh, had a pre-sale that just was, you know, that, that just finished so not that long ago. So take a look at that real quick. Uh, so we can see they were able to raise, uh, you know, 195,000 BUSD. So it gets some information here. Project 21 is a virtual universe built by the leading scientists of the planet Alaska to create superpowered warriors fighting a double eight monsters to save this beautiful planet audited mainnet game release right after listing on pancake buyback reserve treasury better roi marketplace custom tax according to oracle so um you need to also understand that uh, this uh, preset was vested so we can see vesting here 25 percent every seven days you know so got to hold on to it for a month you know to be able to go ahead and get their full allocation you know of tokens that were purchased there are 409 contributors the team is not kyc so we don't see a kyc badge here uh, team is not photodox you know the team is anonymous you know on this token so just be aware of that um, you know so my as far as my concerns and red flags on this one you know anonymous team and the audit issues so we also see the white paper I also don't see you know any real evidence of gameplay I mean I've seen their uh, their, their you know the video you know here you know on a pink sale uh, they got a video you know here as well um, that I've taken a look at you know so I haven't seen the gameplay seem like you know like screens but no real engagement in terms of you know what the actual game looks like so I've tried playing the trailer in a couple of different browsers doesn't work you know and uh, uh, so just be aware of that so uh, they give you their story not going to read through all that in your mecca so these are different you know fighters you know VJ09 VF1D and GCX1 and they got a marketplace that you can engage with. I haven't tried that out yet. Uh, PR21 Army. And then we see uh, this is the same uh, video that was on their uh, pink sale, uh, pre-sale. And then we see the roadmap. So we see, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three. I think that was all we had. Yeah. So, um, and we don't see anything that's been indicated as far as what's been completed. But obviously we know that they just finished the pre-sale. So this would be where we're at. It'd be nice for them to start indicating, you know, what they've already completed by checking it off or crossing it off. Uh, YouTubers, TikTokers reviews, that must be part of their marketing. And then release official game, mint character, release marketplace, uh, CMC and CG. Market, marketing push, NFT private collection, staking and partnerships, and then phase three. Uh, tournament, open world concept art, you know, guild features, uh, PvP championship, add new interactive game modes, uh, game branded metaverse, implement community ideas into the game, and then launch the mobile app of it as well. So it would be nice to see that they would, again, indicate what they've already completed. It would be nice to see them indicate where they are at in terms of development of the project, you know, and what months constitute each of the phases and whether we're going to be going into 23 or not, you know, in terms of development of their project. So, uh, and then we see investors, you know, different people associated, you know, with the project, so a lot of different entities there, pre-sale and pink sale, so... They can get rid of that because they already have their pre, their, their pre sale. So uh, that takes us through. You know, so just wanted to make you aware. You know, of the Project 21 project. You know, tell you, you know, what are the concerns and red flags that I have in regards to this, and beyond anything that I've shared with you. You know, never take my you know content as your green light. You know, or your red light. You know, for a project, you obviously need to develop your own. You know, your own signals as to what leads you into a project, or to what you makes you put on the brakes. You know, in regards to a project. You know. As well so just be aware of that as you do your own assessment and evaluation of projects not only covered on this channel but covered you know any channel that you engage with or on any project that you think that you might be interested in participating in so with that said uh, that'll do it for me on project 21 i'll leave the links in the description for you and with that said as always guys like subscribe and comment all those things do help uh, to grow our channel and to help us get content out to more people on YouTube, um, you know, concerning cryptocurrency. So thank you so much for watching. With that said, you guys enjoy the day.